हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम राजेश सिंह फ्रॉम डेली यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम वर्किंग देयर एज डिप्टी लाइब्रेरियन फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फंक्शंस ऑफ पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी फ्रॉम पेपर पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी फ्रेंड्स ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज to provide an understanding of public library functions explain its role and its importance to examine views on objectives and functions of public library to describe the functions of public library public library from time immemorial has been considered as a social institution based on the democratic principle of for the people by the people and of the people it is the most popular of all types of libraries because of its functions and services which it provides across the society it is regarded as a gateway to knowledge for the community it is a local center of information making all kinds of knowledge and information available to all its users public library has a wider impact on societal as well as national development as a people's university it plays an important role in bringing all round development in a society and ultimately in a nation it functions as an intellectual powerhouse aspiring to meet the intellectual educational recreational informational and cultural requirements of the people it makes provisions of not only recreational materials for leisure reading but also of economic social cultural and political materials to make the public aware of the developments around them this is the only institution which caters all categories of users irrespective of age race sex color creed and religion public libraries serve as a catalyst for socio cultural and educational development by providing access to information and knowledge many individuals and institutions have deliberated and defined the objectives and functions of the public libraries in the next few minutes i will explain you some of the important deliberations and observations on objectives and functions of public libraries objectives and functions of public library according to ifla unesco guideline the purpose of the public library is to provide resources and services in a variety of media to meet the needs of individuals and group of for education information and personal development including recreation and leisure public libraries have an important role in the development and maintenance of a democratic society by giving the individual access to a wide and varied range of knowledge ideas and opinions thus public libraries make provisions for a wide and varied collection in different media to meet the varied information needs of the society at large objectives and functions of public library the objectives and functions of public library as enumerated by dr s r ranganathan are follow they help the lifelong self education of one and all public libraries furnish up to date facts and information on all subjects to one and all they distribute in unbiased and balanced way sources of recorded reviews and thoughts to one and all 
and serve as a help in the discharge of their political responsibilities in respect of local, national and international affairs. Public libraries contribute to productive drive-by information to management of the latest trends in diverse enterprises by plowing back in the minds of researchers, designers and technologists every piece of relevant new thought promptly. Public library preserve the literary remains of humanity for posterity as vehicles of culture and source materials for antiquarian research. Public library provide to one and all worthy and elevating use of leisure and in general work for continued social well-being as the agency in charge of all socialized thought. Thus, the objectives and functions enumerated by Dr. Ranganathan is quite comprehensive. It assimilates all the functions an ideal public library should perform. The Public Library Research Group, London and Library Association of United Kingdom outlines the following objectives of public library services. Education. Public library functions to foster and provide means for self-development of the individual or group at whatever stage of education, closing the gap between the individual and recorded knowledge. Information. Public libraries bring to the individual or group accurate information quickly and in depth particularly on topics of current concern culture public libraries are the one of the principal centers of cultural life and promote a keener participation enjoyment and appreciation of all arts leisure public libraries play a part in encouraging the positive use of leisure and providing materials for change and relaxation. American Library Association points out the following functions of a public library. Number one, public library facilitate informal education of all people in the community. Number two, public libraries enrich and further develop the subjects on which individuals are taking formal educations. Number three, public libraries meet the information need of all. Number four, public libraries support the educational, civic and cultural activities of groups and organizations. And number fifth, public libraries encourage wholesome recreation and constructive use of leisure time. The Public Library Inquiry Committee, UK, presents the following three functions of a public library. Number one, to gather resources in order to promote an enlightened citizenship and enrich personal life. Number two, to provide reliable information to the community. And number three, to provide opportunities for self-education to children young people, man and woman. Friends, now we will discuss what are the functions of a public library. Public library functions as an intellectual powerhouse which aspires to meet the intellectual, educational, recreational, informational and cultural requirements of the people it serves. The various objectives and functions enumerated by various scholars and institutions could easily be summed up as public library functions as a self-education center. It functions as a center for lifelong learning. It is a community information center. It also serves and functions as a recreation center. It also functions and serves as cultural center for society, center to support economic development, and it functions as a center for community skill development, as a center for strengthening democratic 
spirit. Friends, when we, when we say that public library functions as a self-education center, we mean that public library is a center for self-education. It is the primary function of a public library to select, organize, need-based literature and other means of information and education which is suitable to the requirements of the local of the community in which the library is located. It fosters and provides means for self-development of the individual and group at every stage of education, closing the gap between the individual and recorded knowledge. Public library as a self-education center supports and promotes all types of education, whether it is formal education or non-formal education, whether it is adult and continuing education or lifelong education. How? By making provision of adequate stock of books and other reading materials and making them available to all sections of community irrespective of caste, creed or color. Public library is aptly considered as people's university and its main aim is to act as an educational agency for all the people. It supports not only formal learning through schools, colleges and universities, but also other mode and methods of learning in which an individual with varied interest could like to seek knowledge at a place or time which suits his situation. It provides self-education suiting one's interest throughout his life. For example, self-education may be obtained through a rural public library on topics such as methods of agricultural operation, scientific method of poultry, beekeeping, etc. Thus, as a self-education center, public library enriches our life to a great extent and it mitigates day-to-day -day hardships of our life, particularly for learning. Self-education center. Public library is a center for self-education. A public library selects and organizes need-based literature and other means of information and education suitable to the requirements of the local community in which the library is located. Public libraries also support and promote formal and non-formal education, adult and continuing education, as well as lifelong education for all. Public libraries functions as a self-education center where individual and groups can educate themselves. It functions as a center for lifelong learning. Public libraries allows it, its clientele to learn throughout their life with provision of material as they require. Public library also serves as community information center. A local information center to the community where all required information is made available. Public library functions as a center for recreation where individuals and groups could visit the library and fruitfully utilize their leisure time. Public library also functions as a cultural center for society. In today's world, it has become a center which supports economic development. It has also become a center which supports community skills development. 
public library as self education center public library functions as a center for self education it is the primary function of a public library to select and organize need based literature and other means of information and education suitable to the requirements of the local community in which the library is located public library fosters and provides means for self development of the individual and group at every stage of education closing the gap between the individual and recorded knowledge as a self education center the public library supports and promotes all types of education as formal and non formal education adult and continuing education and lifelong education by making provision of adequate stock of books and other reading materials and making them available to all sections of community irrespective of caste creed and color public library is aptly considered as people's university whose main aim is to act as an educational agency for all the people it supports not only formal learning through schools colleges and universities but all other mode and methods of learning in which an individual with varied interest would like to seek knowledge at a place or time which suits his situation it provides self education suiting one's interest throughout his life for example self education may be obtained through a rural public library on topics such as method of agricultural operation scientific method of poultry bee keeping etc thus as a self education center public library enriches our life to a great extent and mitigates day to day hardships for example you may visit to the braille library in delhi university which wonderfully provides library services to the disabled users including students researchers and faculty member you can see how the students who are visually disabled they read in braille format they listen and understand in audio format and they read online in e text format public library as a center for lifelong learning lifelong learning consists of various forms of education and training formal and informal for example the school system from primary to tertiary level the free adult education informal search and training individually in a group setting or within the framework of social movements public library provides a cost effective infrastructure for lifelong learning the development of the information and communication technology has already laid the basis for the creation of information networks giving users even of small local public libraries access to the worldwide sources of information thus public libraries are truly a center for lifelong learning public libraries facilitates eg access to the required reading and learning materials in its collection it works as a center for learning for visually disabled by providing braille books audio books e text etc for example you can visit to braille library of delhi university which is a state of art library and you can find how visually disabled students and teachers and researchers use the library services in form of braille books in form of audio books in form of e text for on screen reading public library functions as community information center by providing required and essential information to various communities such as rural language 
religious, legal, etc. Public library brings to these communities accurate and up-to-date information very quickly and in-depth, particularly on socio-economic needs of the society. It supports the growth of communities through the provision of information services designed to meet the local needs. It functions as an important tool for reducing disparity between the information rich and the information poor citizen. A public library also serves as information center for socialized sources of information. For example, a rural public library collects and organizes information for dissemination to the local communities in the areas of employment opportunities, public utility services, facilities provided by social welfare agencies, program of development department, etc. A farmer apprised of the programs and policies of the government is able to acquire agricultural loan from banks, purchase quality seeds, purchase advanced agricultural equipments, etc. Public libraries are much more than a collection of books. They play a central role in many communities. The local public library functions as an important center in promoting various developmental activities like construction of roads, construction of dams and canals, construction of houses for weaker section, establishment of cottage and village industries, etc., etc. They play significant role in popularization of science and technology and disseminate legal information relating to family laws, property laws, etc. The local public library collection is primarily in local language of that particular area. They also organize various forms of performing arts. Thus, a local public library, in a true sense, functions as a community information center. Public library also functions as a recreation center. Provision of scope for healthy and positive use of leisure time is one of the most important functions of a public library. They encourage the positive use of leisure and provide ample material and services for change and relaxation. Books of fictions, drama, poetry, newspapers, and popular magazines, etc., facilitate recreational reading. Audiovisual materials such as films, television, radio, cassettes, gramophone records, CDs, and DVDs increase the utility of public library as a recreation center. The children corner, which is invariably found in all public library, it provides good material for recreation of children. Public library also functions as a community information center and serves a good platform for fruitful utilization of leisure and recreation. As a dynamic institution, it reaches out to the people at their homes and places of work through its branches, through book mobile libraries, and through deposit stations at prisons, hospitals, and elders' homes. For example, Delhi Public Library, which consists of a central library, one zonal library, three branch libraries, 
23 sub branch libraries, 3 community libraries, 12 resettlement colony libraries, 1 braille library, 73 mobile points, and 22 deposit stations is a wonderful example to prove that how the public library function. Thus, public library serves as a true recreation center to all segments of society. Public library as a cultural center for society. Public library also functions as a cultural center for the society. It identifies and collects cultural materials of importance such as work of art and sculpture, paintings, musical instruments, literary documents, etc. available in its area. The collected materials are organized and put to the public use. Thus, it links the people of the locality with its cultural past. The public library has also penetrated deep into the life of the community by turning itself into a cultural center, by organizing activities such as lectures, book discussions, film shows, musical concerts, plays, art exhibitions, and storytelling for children. With the implementation of ICT in public libraries, the archive of local reminiscence materials are being digitized. Such digital resources are networked or mounted on the web and are made accessible from a PC located in the reference library and also through web. Public library as a center to support economic development. Public library functions as an information provider for business and industries through the provision of information services designed to meet specific needs. For example, compilations of city business directory, information alert services for business, city guide, job and career information guide, topical book list for a particular business or a small industry, advice services for business, etc. Such services of the public libraries positively contribute to the economic development of the community. The amount and exact nature of the services provided to contribute towards the community's economic development vary depending on the community itself and the library. Public library as a center for community skill development. We all know that information is directly related to knowledge and skills which influence socio-economic development. Libraries are the most important information centers involved in collecting, processing, organizing and disseminating information and knowledge. Modern information and communication technologies has fruitfully contributed in all walks of human life and the libraries and information centers have embraced the ICT more profoundly than any other field. ICT has revolutionized the entire library activities and services and has eased the availability of information and knowledge. The changed information environment using ICT and available in electronic format calls for a new kind of user awareness and user education program, particularly by public libraries called information literacy. The public libraries are required to offer guidance and training through information literacy programs in information search and quality rating of information sources. In this regard, Many public libraries have established an in-house information literacy team to provide a tailor-made, flexible training to the user community. Online tutorials and quizzes have also been developed and uploaded on websites by many public libraries. Public Library for Strengthening Democratic Spirit Democracy will be impossible 
unless the citizens have free access to quality information and all points of view on a given topic. Public library is the only impartial agency which places before one and all a truly balanced information store on all points of view, all lines of approach and all school of thought. It provides a wide range of reading material in order to broaden citizens' outlook, knowledge and ideas. This helps the citizens to know, defend and enjoy their rights and realize and discharge their duties in a democracy. Thus, public libraries help to increase quality of life and democratic possibilities for citizens by providing free and equal access to quality information. Public libraries bring together different segments of the society on a single platform through its socio-cultural activities and develop a sense of amity, sense of respect and appreciation for other groups, languages, religion, customs and cultures. The success of the democracy really depends upon the educated and enlightened citizenry irrespective of their age, race, sex, caste, color, creed, language, religion and social status. Thus public libraries strengthen democratic split among the citizens by its activities and services. Well friends, now let us summarize the topic functions of public library. Public library is a social institution which is based on the principle of democracy for the people, by the people and of the people. It is a local center of information and a local gateway to knowledge. It is regarded as people's university because it supports self-education and lifelong learning. It functions as an intellectual powerhouse and meets the intellectual, educational, recreational, informational and cultural requirements of the people. It serves across the society, irrespective of age, race, sex, color, creed and religion. Many individuals and institutions have deliberated and defined the objectives and functions of the public libraries. To sum up, it functions as self-education center, center for lifelong learning, community information center, a recreational center, a center for culture for the society, as a center to support economic development, as a center which supports community skill development and most importantly as a center which strengthens democratic spirit among the citizens. Thus, public libraries have a wider impact on societal as well as national development. Thank you friends. Thanks for being with me. Thank you very much.